Yeah. We live, nigga. What up, though? Tacos, nigga. Shout out to Lionel. Right. Shout out my Migos. <laughs> 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 
That nigga yeah. said what you I say what you eat. That nigga, he got the taco truck going. Taco, taco truck special, nigga. What? Uh, what's y'all's plans for the New Year's? Our um, viewers. Mm 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 mm. Well, the Pistons just lost again. One time. Six hundred games in a row. Mm-hmm. They haven't really mm-hmm. been good since they won that championship, huh? Uh, yeah, you can kind of say that. <laughs> <laughs> we got our one. We ain't tripping, though. We traded in the Pistons for the Detroit Lions. We traded in the Pistons success for the Detroit Lions success. We needed that more than anything, so we'll stick with that. We don't know because ain't nobody saying shit, man, so. See, everybody's saying Cincy. Ain't nobody, ain't speak ain't nobody speaking words, up. Yeah. I mean, we we wanted to go up to Newport, but ain't nobody speaking up. I told him I need to be adding up to the Detroit. Yeah, ain't nobody speaking up about it. Do faithful relationships still exist? I'm going to say yes. (laughs) Answer that bitch first. No, it's good. Because it can if we want, like, if we want to. I think there's still faithful relationships out there. It's just a small percentage. Nigga, this broadcast is brought to you by the Taco Truck Online song. <laughs> Fuck what y'all talking about. Because I'm hungry. Let that nigga know you shouting them out, too. He ain't got pants, man, but he'll give us a free taco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they give you a free taco every, every time every, you go. Every, oh, um, no. We, we ain't paying them on Thursday nights. This is the secret then to the taco truck online song. You order five, they give you six. They order three, they give you four. You order two, they give you three. They already give you one extra. That's definitely good to know. Don't, don't tell nobody. Just just order it, nigga. Don't be a rat. Don't fuck up with the flow, nigga. Damn. Who we got in here? My dude's in here. White bread. Well, she is. You say, I do I? Can I do what you say? Hey, Ma, thanks for tapping in. Do you feel like it's a match that still exists? Say for me? What's up, Chuck? What was your answer? My answer. Who the fuck cares? Damn. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Can't answer that. Would you be willing to? Certain ways like, for look, the right female. When you when it comes to a motherfucker, look, check this out. Mm-hmm. Only way you know a motherfucker when you say do faithful relationships still exist. Only way you know if somebody has a faithful relationship is if you ask them if they cheat and they say no. And but they, but they can be no. lying. You know what I'm saying? So how would you know faithful faithful relationships exist? So you That's know what I'm saying? Real. Even when it comes to cheating, the only way you know a motherfucker cheat is if you catch them or they tell on themselves. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They just tell the truth. So when it, the cheating part is easy to answer. The, the being faithful, I mean, only, only only way there's no way you can really know the damn truth. A nigga can be cheating his ass off and say I ain't cheating because he ain't never been caught. So, you feel like fem- males or females are cheating more. I feel like it's, you know, it's just, I mean, it's not says we all cheat. I don't nobody, how can we know? I don't know all the motherfucking niggas in the world. I don't know all the bitches in the world. You feel me? So we don't know who cheats the most. We Everybody, just, I mean, both race cheat. I mean, both all sexes cheat. And I remember asking Niggas get like, caught females and slip as fish grease. <laughs> yeah, everybody cheats. So Frank, could you be with somebody like as long as they, t- it don't matter what they do, like they can cheat as long as they take it care of home. Cause you know some females say that about males. Like, I don't care what they do, as long as they take care of home. Right, Mike, you feel me? Damn, they never be caught. It would be the, the biggest whore in the time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you say what? What's up? Well, so what's taking care of home? Like, so for the most part, bills or what? for the most part, you know. I'm a man, so you gotta pay where you lay. You know what I'm saying? So, so what you saying? Like who? the man pay all the bills? No, I mean, I mean you gotta pay where you lay. <laughs> you, you should pay. You should pay predominantly. See, you the man. You supposed to, you know. So in her house, if it's her, if it's her house, you should pay. 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 You should
and I lay my head down, I should pay more of the bills. Fuck no, it can't be her house. I feel like it should. That's the right. key word with heat. My nigga just said it can't be her house. I said, I feel like it, it should be, be all like an shit. Even. It's our shit, right. man. I run this bitch. Somebody pay them rent. They pay more. utilities and vice versa. Fuck no, because the utilities ain't gonna add up to the rent. <laughs> yeah, well, utilities is expensive yeah, now. Nah. What y'all living in? All the time living on Sixth Street. <laughs> Utilities is not adding up yes. to the rent. Hell, but nah. the man, so you feel like it should be evenly paid? Like you don't feel like the man should pay more than the woman? It should be like. I mean, I do sixty forty. I fuck with you and do sixty forty. You feel me? Hell yeah, yeah, and I'm running this bitch. Sixty forty. So household duties, cooking and cleaning. I'm gonna tell you what. That, yeah, that should be split. Penny, what up? I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Okay. If I'm paying all these motherfucking bills, all of them, don't worry about the fuck I'm doing outside. Oh, damn. I'm keeping one hundred. Nah. I'm keeping one hundred. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say make you ain't doing shit else in the house. No. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing outside if I'm taking care of this house by my damn self. This when you pay some of these bills, then you you tell me what time to come to this motherfucker. Like house. a like a picture like your parents. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh-uh. yeah. Hey. Where's JoJo at? JoJo she in there. She oh, quiet okay. tonight. She's in the building. What up, JoJo? I spoke to him. She was saying that too. You know, I have to shout you out. You've literally been um, rocking with us shoot, almost every live. JoJo regular. JoJo mm-hmm. punk ass supposed to be on here. Oh, yeah, she's supposed to come on the show. Yeah. What's up? We waiting on you, Jojo. Where you at? Got an open invitation. Wow. I open. said chocolate or red bomb. We spoke about that. Y'all spoke on there on the show? Yeah, you ain't asked me yet. Yeah, y'all. Chocolate. That was that was pre that, that was, was pre show. Chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate or red bomb. No. Fuck a red bitch. Oh, she said she said what up. Oh, what up? She said I said what's up, y'all. Dang it. Is that how you yeah, what about you, Frank? For me, I guess not. Do I need to say it again? Or do I need to say it louder? Yeah, chocolate and red bone. Fuck a red bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what about oh, you, Frank? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to, I'm, I'm like us, man. I used to, I used to prefer a, a red bone now. Yeah, well, we, what? Well, we, we, where you grew out that shit, cuz? For real, for me, from middle school. Damn. I grew out of red bone in middle school. Uh, well, I got the, when you get to high school, nigga, that's when they, you see it, the dark skins, the brown skins, and them bitches were something different. See, I think the middle school, in middle school and grade school, all the red bones, well, all the hoes are, are in your neighborhood. Mm. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So the dark skin was in the neighborhood was probably ugly. Oh, but when you get to high school, you, you got different neighborhoods. So mm-hmm. you start seeing the, the little hoes. That's living in a nice neighborhood. Okay. So, so, so would y'all date outside y'all's race? <laughs> Mike said red bitches hurt to feel. <laughs> that's probably why I still don't like them hoes, cuz. Yeah. You say so, we rather what? Would y'all date outside y'all's um, race? Like, would y'all date like a. No comment. I'm completely uh, fifth. Because I feel like if I say no, then I'm gonna be called a racist. Mm-hmm. No, when you what you mean would I date? Like would, would would a white woman be my girlfriend? Yeah. Nah. I fuck a white girl like a motherfucker. This nigga said lot like, dark skin's been on since Keisha or Billy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hell nah. Yep. And you say no comment Keisha, too. Keisha was cause what do you say no comment too? Um dating no outside of the rest. I would. I said um, I think the fifth. I wanna marry a black guy, but I would date you said a white boy. So what if you I'm dating a white guy? So what if you what together if you, almost a year? Like it was a good relationship, uh, but he was like a little too clingy, and I like clingy. So if I'm saying you're too clingy, that's a lot. <laughs> but, Morgan Brown said, "Red bitches do not hurt your feelings." I don't consider you red. I can I consider you um you brown skin. I put you in the brown skin category. Who is Morgan Brown? Let me see. I, I, got I put see. her in the brown skin. She ain't red. I'm about to go see for myself. I'm going to see Morgan. I don't, when it's cold outside, I don't think her nose be red. Now, now, no, I don't think red. that matters because my nose gets red and I'm not red. There's no way in the world your nose get red. I promise. I 
does. I swear it does. Shit, it might even get red when I fry. But I know for sure when I get cold, it does. Why you look like so a white skin inside? No, no, no. You brown skin. You brown. Like skin. You, brown. you brown, Morgan. You ain't red. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely brown. For sure. What do you think? Morgan's brown or red? Brown skin ain't. Well, like, I know some light skinned people. You far from that. Yeah. Not far from it, but. And I don't think that red like bone it. means mixed. I don't think that. I feel like red bone means. No, like, how you know? Yeah. I ain't, I ain't called Because I feel like that was like a misconstrued concept of red bones. No, I, mean, I, know. I, I know some like real high yellow ass girls whose parents black get them off of. Mm. Both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she say Morgan knows definitely be red. Yeah. What's up, I Ms. believe Gilbert? it does because my shit does. I need everybody here to share the live, share the live, hit that share button, yes. and put it on whatever your story, your timeline, whatever. Just share this motherfucker, man, with all your people, whoever you think will like this bitch. Because it gets real. And I think we got some special guests coming through today. I don't know. They late in the motherfucker, but you know. We late, so they late. What else? Yeah, nothing's yeah, off limits. Yeah. Anything I want to add? Hey, hey, hey. You tell me nothing. Who is that? Oh. <laughs> what up, Teresa? <laughs> hey. I think it's a oh. There go Kimfo, Kimfo. So I, 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 new? I got a question for y'all. Okay. What's that? Y'all be fucking with that, what they call that shit? New Year's Revolution or whatever they call it. What they call it? What you say? Cause I'll revolution. Be a new resolution. Like I used to. What is called? Like, new Year's resolution. Yeah, resolution. <laughs> Look, but see, read with me, cause she said the same word. No, I said resolution. A cup of ice. It's resolution, right? Resolution. So you believe in it? You I don't know. Uh, no, because I feel like if you want to change some shit, why wait till the New Year? Let's do that shit now. Saying, be you know, like if I'm gonna shit. get better or if I'm gonna change, I'm not gonna wait till. No, no, no. Let's do this now. That's why I don't be understanding that shit. And I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on what you. What up, You put too much pressure, you too busy. Like, you don't, it doesn't, it don't work. That's from my experience. But, like, if you don't, like, pressure yourself about it and just be like, all right, I'm going to do this. Join it's almost that time, my baby. It's almost that time. What's up, Ty Dream? T's in here? Yep. Trying to say hi. T Dizzle. She did. Oh, she's about to. What are you doing for the New Year's time? I was going to hit you up and ask because I know she, she always got some shit playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So like yeah, the more pressure you put on yourself to change some shit, the slower you're going to go and change I, I just it. think that shit dumb. Yeah. I don't understand. I think that shit dumb. I don't, I don't believe none of and that honestly, shit. They New say. Year is, going honestly, to, it's like a I don't display. believe that shit. They say it's if you're going to the New Year broke, you're going to be broke. If you're going to the New Year with money, you're going to have money. So you don't believe in the. No, I go to New Year. What the fuck? I go to New Year every goddamn year with money. And when I still have the same amount of motherfucking money on the 31st of the following year. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand yeah. that shit. New Year's, the, the real New Year is actually in the spring. It's not January. Because if you think about it, like New Year's, New Year's things are starting over fresh, you know, like, so that's what happens in the spring, like, everything is, like, blooming again, and, like, but not in the wintertime, shit going on in the wintertime. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Lori said this combo is too immature for many women are being referred to in a disrespectful terms as defined by skin tones. Um, I'm not sure what disrespectful. Light skin, and, light skin, and brown skin. I don't, cause I don't want you to, you guys, to think that we're trying to like pin light skin versus dark skin women against each. No, this is just, a, just a topic to talk about, just to get an opinion. It's not really that type of vibe. So I apologize if that's the energy you're receiving from it. Oh, what? Can uh, we say the word bitch? Miss Lori, I think so. I think oh, shit. This ain't the podcast for her. No, nah, we yeah, just talk. This is real talk. We had nothing, yeah, we're just being ourselves. We're not trying to. Um, yeah, we just talk. We ain't here hurting nobody's feelings. We or just talk. Like that. Um, I guess she's going to meet too my ass. Yes, Morgan, she knows all about it. She says the real New Year's is in April. That is true. Yes, I'm definitely going to hit you up, my dear. What that mean? Because of the, because of the like corn, how, is, how, how this quarter broke down in quarters. 
The mm-hmm. months or something? Well, no, just because everything is renewing itself in the spring. You know, everything's coming back to life. You know, all the dead uh, mm-hmm. trees and flowers and all that, all that's reblooming and, you know, the colors coming back. Like, that's the real that's blue year. Like, it's deeper than that. That's just the best way I can explain it. You think that's how she meant it? It's, very, it's like a spiritual thing. It's real good. If you can break it down better than me, Morgan, please do. It's a spiritual thing? Bust down. That the real New Year's is in in in, May, in April. Yeah. Uh, it's April, just like May, going. June, July. Then you got August, September, October, November. Then you got December, January, February, March. So what? No, I Them the quarters. Know. How they break shit down? Because I was saying that's like how the you do it in the, in the business it's world. Not really, New Year's Eve. It's really in this one. Yeah, four quarters in the year, right? Yeah. But you know they don't they don't do it like January, February, March, April. Then go to the next four. They do it like, like um, um, August, August, or is it September? I think it's August, September. Let me see, August, September. What's after fucking September? October, October. November. <laughs> then the, that's the fall. Then the, mm-hmm. the, the the winter is December, January. February, okay, March, and then the spring is April. <laughs> yeah. We just yeah. Out, like, yeah, that's why I saw that she's still in the cure for me. Yeah, that's why I'm like, hey, hey, you got to be, yeah, you acting light skinned. <laughs> 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 no, I think that's a dark skin one. And what she don't even like, light we, skin. And, and then we praise, we praise the dark skin one. She yeah, dark right, right. What's y'all's favorite uh, season? Uh, fall. October, nigga. I like summer. <laughs> I love warm summer nights. Like, nothing is better than that. Just fall. October's like my cold. favorite season. Why? Because it's October. Right. Libra. Because <laughs> Libra October. On gang. Oh, wow. Libra gang season. That's my favorite season. I don't have to go with the Gang shit. Yeah. See, Jay, that's why I'm glad the years flying by. Phone by the summertime. Yeah, I should, I should have knew, I should have knew Double Jay was gonna say fall. Jojo, it's fall. It's fall. I like the vernacular. Jojo, thunderous spring. Yeah, spring is good. Only I like spring too. Why the summer? Was I just like the sun. I like the warm summer. The spring, it's the, the summer. summer. I mean, I like the summer. Day it's autumn, damn it. It's fall. It's gonna leave yeah, fall off the trees. Wear what you want. Push it. <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite season? Yeah, I, Morgan says summer. I know I ain't see it. Watch your mouth, black ass nigga. Mmm. What's she talking about? Oh, yeah, don't forget we got uh, Smith. Smith? Mm-hmm. Smith? Yeah, we got my special guest. Oh, that's going to be the special guest. <laughs> <laughs> that's my girl. You got one right. black ass power. Y'all throw my shit out. Can't pay my bills. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, yeah, make sure you're so not going to knock the karaoke. Yeah, we ain't going to have that. What's up, business? Hey, my bills. Hey, I'm going to get real. Right. But I'm going to do the source. We're going to do the source. Where's the camera at? Right there, I where? Right there, right there, right there. Where? Right there, right there. That way. What you doing? Oh. I don't see no camera. We ain't got to see that? it. Just look that way. It's up there. Hey, what's the business? It's your girl, Samira LaRosa. It's the building. I'm reporting straight from Lexington, Kentucky. Yes. You feel me? Ha, 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 ha. All my Lexington, Kentucky people put a motherfucking KY in the chat. You black as hell. You need to come burn the lights. <laughs> I like the way she showed up on there, though. That, I like that. Little dark skin there, huh? We got to split the red sea for you. Come this yeah. way. Yeah. I'm going to take my jacket off. I ain't a little warm. Yeah, it's hot. It's the lights. It's the bright lights. Lights, camera, action. Shamir said, ooh. I mean, not Shamir. <laughs> Double J, J Double said, well, hello. Who said hi? Double J said, Tyson. every week she going to push the boundaries with the Nuki. Nuki said, what up, cuz? Nuki. What y'all talking about? Oh, wait, come this way, good. Okay. Oh, you said, yeah, girl. I love the blue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you got your wheel going on. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite What's thing, up? too. So What's up, baby? What the hell is this? Can't pay okay. my bills. What's up, what's Excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, now you locked in. Do the sun's money. Do the sun's money. Us. What y'all talking about on here? <coughs> you supposed to 
being on your phone. Oh, let me get on my phone. White bread said, "What's up?" Who? White bread. Ashley. Hi Ashley. Um, Ashley in the building. Hey girl. Sure. If, you, if you mess, if you messing with Samara, you know what I'm saying. Put a uh, put a classy, you know what I'm saying. Put a, put some champagne glasses in the, in the chat. <laughs> and make sure y'all do come out to karaoke tomorrow night. Yeah, I especially get all the way from Florida. So Florida. From so South Florida. Florida. I ain't no hater. Me and my daddy we ain't really no, talking right now, no but. I ain't no hater. Y'all make sure y'all go check out the social vegan. You know what I'm saying? We do it live every Friday night. Y'all come to the social come vegan. You yeah. feel me? That's the legacy. I got somebody I knock somebody. Mama used to say. Mama used to say. Mama used to say. Take care of your tail. Mama used to say. 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 How, okay, so how yes. do I share this on my page? Real talk group. So, okay. Real talk group. Okay, group. we in the building. Throw the roses in the chat. Real talk. Real talk. Ain't no roses on here. Throw the roses in the chat. Crew. I guess they can go in there and just hit rose and then the motherfucking rose. Yeah, yeah. throw a rose in the okay. chat. If you messing with me, throw a rose in the chat. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't even following. I thought I was. Yeah, don't Okay. That's our poll question. Do you do faithful relationships still exist? Yes. Right. Yes. I said, yes. I okay. Said, okay. 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 So let me tell y'all why I said. I said what I said. Is that the topic tonight? Yeah. It's one of them. It's our poll question, so we can talk about it. Okay. Let me take my hat off because you know my, my little locks. You feel me? I'm, I'm woke. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yes, they do. Okay, how do I so? How does I submit that? So okay, we already submit, so we just hit that to share. Oh my God, my forehead's shiny. It's the oh, they put said. the roses in there. Let me put my rose in the oh, chair. No, Got it. Okay, share it. Oh, okay, we live. Yeah, La Rosa in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Turn it down. Yeah. Turn it down. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What up, Tasha? What it do? What's going down, baby? Tasha showed up. Hundred, do you think, um, Shout out to all my niggas who showed up in Frankfurt, baby. We got down last Saturday. It was a movie, baby. For the show. Oh, they dropping the roses for so you, good? La Rosa laughs. Some real La Rosa. It was, it was fun. In the building. I'm still mad about the food. Oh, you, you didn't get no food? No. <laughs> I'm so I don't even want to talk about it. If it's one, there's not many things that can piss me off, but fucking with my food <laughs> is one. I know that's right. I know you look in here. I'm there shining. I thought I was too. I thought you was gonna be the first motherfucker to eat. You, you and me both. Where's the roses at? I'm that's what I was trying to find. Just type the rose. Just type, so type the word. Oh, okay. I can definitely just type it on Type it in your emoji bag. Oh, there it is. Rose, 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 rose. <laughs> Put them roses in the chat if you messing with, you know, Samira La Rosa live. You feel me? I done came in and took over real talk TV. You feel it? Yes. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> all my ECN, all my ECN cats. Utter, utter, utter. West side. No, you, ain't you ain't do it. North side. You ain't do it. North side. Bitch, I'm from the North side. <laughs> Building, I represent one love. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, shoe shine. Rest in peace, Tommy Gun. I know. Rest in peace, shine. The fallen soldier. Shine. Rest in peace to uh, what's his name? That was from Chicago. From Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. About, um, uh, Hoover. Yeah. Rest from in peace Chicago. to my little brother. I don't know who. Who's, who's, who's from Indiana? Uh, from Chicago. I thought he was from Chicago. Rest in peace, I love you, miss you. Rest in peace to all our fallen soldiers. Um, let me put my phone down. R.I.P. to everybody. R.I.P. to everybody. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's no longer here. Everybody no, but never forgotten. Yes. So it's a blessing. So the rela the so the poll said. What up, Tash? Um, do you think that faithful relationships exist? I do. I do. I think that men can be faithful. I think women can be faithful. I think men lie. I think women lie. I mm -hmm. think that it all depends on the person and the desires mm -hmm. of their heart. Mm -hmm. If you want to be faithful, you can be faithful. Right. But I have to testify because I keep it real. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm married. Fresh in it. Three years. You feel me? Congrats. That ain't fresh. 
I'm saying three years. They said under five is like. They said if you make it three years, then you got a chance. Who the fuck is don't nobody don't nobody contradict letting you do what you you've been married for a minute three years that's a minute that's a minute so we made three years you know but I gotta tell the truth I'm gonna testify okay. Shout out to my husband, Timothy Lamar Johnson. Damn. We in the building. If y'all see my husband online, y'all tell him to tune in, tune in. If not, baby, I love you. I miss you. Thank you for taking care of our beautiful children. Thank you for loving me the way you do. Thank you for being a stand-up, righteous man of God. Okay, so let me tell Facebook? my story. What's his, what's his Facebook? He ain't on Facebook because I told him to get off Facebook. But if he is on Facebook, his children's probably running this page. But it's okay. Sure? What's the last name? Tim what? Johnson. Oh, damn. Nah. So but and, anyway, my brother is a, a, an investigator. <laughs> <laughs> journalist. But anyway, shout out to my husband. We three years in the game. Do I think that you could be faithful? Absolutely, yes. I've already said this testimony before, though. So when me and my husband initially first got together... Um, we just kind of like, we were, we were friends for 20 years and, um, yeah. And, um, well, like 17, 18 years, I, I say 20, but anyways, um, I mean, to the point to where like, when we was just cool, like I worked at the daycare and I used to keep his children and he was married at the time. Mm -hmm. Now I did not disrespect my husband's relationship. Um, however, when he initially first took me on a date, when he first approached me, like some up years later, I thought that my husband would not approach me unless he was available because he knew how I moved right. in the community. You see what I'm saying? Right. But he asked me for a date. Ironically, we went to a wedding for a date. Okay. And when we went to the wedding, like, we had a really good time. One of his peoples was getting married. We had a good time. He took me out of town. I was staying with my ram. <laughs> I love it. And, um... Uh, <laughs> it's Thomas Phillips. He said, hey, fam, you back in town. Hi, I'm here. KY in the building. Put them roses in the chat. How long are you going to be in town? Shout out Thomas Phillips. I'm man. leaving tomorrow. No. Early. Follow the, follow the page, Thomas. Yeah, follow. Make sure y'all go. Up, and follow Real Talk Crew bro, bro, what it do? on Facebook. That's my brothers, my sisters. You know, it's a family affair. Family, family. We in the building. But do I think that we could be faithful? Yes, I do. But anyway, to make a long story short, so my husband, after that, he curved me. Like, he curved me after our first date. Okay. And he was married. He lied to me. He didn't tell so me. So for us old folks, what do curve me? <laughs> what the fuck curve me? I don't know what curve me. Ghosted. Yeah. He paid it. Like my car? He eat this nigga. Yeah, shit, I, don't, I don't use all them goddamn terms. Okay. He spent the block. Um, okay. So then he spent, the, well, he spent the block back. Oh, I was going to say he spent the block, then he came back. No, he spent the block. Well, like, he come back. But he spent the block back. Does that make sense? Nah, I don't yep. get it. See, it makes sense. Okay. You got to, you see now you got sis on here. Yeah, that's what I was like. It's been two on one. I've been peeping. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So anyways, he spent the block back. <laughs> and um, when he spent the block back, I was like in my community stuff. I had leading ladies, you know, so he had to get out in the community with me. He had to be my friend when he came back years later. And I was like, I don't want to mess with you like that. I just want to be friends because you curved me. And, you know, that's that. If you want to be my friend, we can be friends. But I don't want nothing else from you. Mm -hmm. My friend was out there doing bake sales. What up, Trey? So he was like, I was out. Out. He heard you, heard you. Yeah, he heard me, heard me. So he had to do what he had to do. And sometimes you have to say bye. Sometimes yeah. you have to be willing to get your heart broken. Yeah. And, and that's what I did. So then, years later, he had just came to visit me. In South Florida, I had just moved to South Florida, and um, my husband was from Kentucky. And when he came, we was just friends. I was door dashing, and he was supposed to start a job with dad or whatever. But anyways, he came down there. We went to go see my great great auntie. She's like a hundred and something years old, and we went to go see her. She was like, I don't know what y'all wasting time on, cause that's your husband. 
other one. And she was 107 years old, so it was really awkward. Our yeah. Edna. Because if it's meant to okay. be, it's going to come back. Rest yeah. Peace, Edna, Rest man. in peace, Shout out Edna. She was 104 when she died. Got a GED when she was 100. She was still driving everything. But anyways, um, so it kind of like made me like, so then like on the way back to my house, like it was quiet in the car. Like quiet. Nobody said nothing. It was just awkward. I guess we was just both. Hey, okay. Okay. And so then, yeah, um, okay, hey, okay, I love you. Mwah. You done brought everybody else. Mm -hmm. So then, um, turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, when we got to the crib, I was just, we was standing, we was like sitting across from each other, just like this. He was sitting right there, I was sitting right there, so we was at the table. And I said, are you my husband? I was like, are you my husband or what? He said yes. I said, I, that was a good okay. Love story. So uh, the next day we went to Cancun. He proposed to me. I mean, not Cancun. I'm sorry. We went to um, we went to the Keys in Florida. He got down on his knee. I, I well, I I was in the ocean and I came up. My hair was waving and glistening. And I had a lot of shit. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good story, but that ain't no two. <laughs> and so, but I'm going to get to my points. But let me hurry up. So, short story short, he said, yeah, he proposed to me. We got married, middle of the pandemic. If y'all know, the pandemic is six weeks away, you know, all these precautions. So, we just kind of like quickly got married. We have been friends forever. I didn't think nobody would really care. Yeah. But, you know, people was in their feelings about it. And we got married, and then, you know, um, I was unfaithful. Mm. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Stop it. I appreciate the honesty. Okay, so, first of all, I was just now receiving. Can I pause you real quick? Yeah. That's the type of shit I be talking about. What? What? Because you just confessed to cheating, right? And my nigga said, I appreciate the honesty. But if that would have been me and cuz came clean on shit like that, she would have been dogging us out. No, no I would have been honest. Okay, me. I'm saying, I'm saying, I, I could see. Well, I don't know. Even though I don't understand why men do that, there's a lot of men that get married and then cheat the next day. Let me tell y'all why. I'm saying it. Nobody's putting the gun to your head. Just don't get fucking married. But let me, let me back up and because tell y'all why. Because you're going to care about the pressure. Don't let me tell y'all why. It ain't no. Let me answer her question. Okay, okay. okay because okay. it ain't no. Which, it ain't no. Ain't nobody pressing. But I'm saying, motherfuckers think just because we cheat on you, we don't love you. Just because he he still wants. He probably but still I'm wants you to be his. I, I, no, no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about her. On her question. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because they. Just because he cheated well, on me, me, he don't want to marry. Let me let me talk to you again. Okay. Cause, 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 and to welcome to the podcast. Because I'm the because I, I would be considered the culprit or the villain in yeah. this situation. Because my husband is cheating on me, I cheated on him. Yeah. This is why I was dealing with therapy for my childhood trauma, mm. and I had never dealt with it before. Mm -hmm. And I started to feel like he was going to abandon me again okay. because. He didn't keep it all the way real about a situation. And I felt like he took my choice away from me because he didn't fully disclose Before everything that came with him. Okay. That's understandable. So, so, and not only that, hell, like, it happened so organically, our union, that I wasn't ready. To, I didn't know what it was to be a wife. Oh, yeah. I was living a hot girl summer. I had just moved to Florida. Mm -hmm. What's up, E? And when I was dealing with my therapy, and then I was like, he's going to leave me again. My husband got 12 children, two by me, 10 by some, you know, mm -hmm. different women. Mm -hmm. So I felt like maybe he had changed. Yeah, because what it do? So uh, I feel, I feel, that makes sense. mentally, like, I was kind of out of it. I'm not going to lie. I Because I, he kept saying, Mind you, my husband, this is his second marriage. Okay. This is only my first marriage. Mm -hmm. And I think that he no, was no. dealing with trauma. My husband is adopted. Um, he's got abandonment issues. He's got PTSD. I got PTSD. He's got anxiety disorder. At the time, I, I hadn't been diagnosed, but he had yeah. already been diagnosed. Yeah. My husband's 10 years older than me. Mm -hmm. So he had a little bit more patience for me because my mind, being that we got married impulsively, 
I was living a hot girl summer. Mm -hmm. I was a single mom. I was single. I was used to, I'm 40. You know what I'm saying? I'm like 41. So yeah. at the time, I'm 38, like 39. I'm, I'm used to, I didn't know. And I'm glad you mentioned the therapy years. thing. We yeah. Touch, we touch on that a lot. That's why it is important. <laughs> and women. You're a totally different person outside of your trauma. You got to learn who you are outside of your trauma. Exactly. Um, so you will, you will move. I had way. never dealt with my trauma before. Mm -hmm. And and so women, let me say this. Because Sierra, I know she's a virtuous woman. Listen, any good dudes out there, I'm talking about you ain't got to be good. You got to be great. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a man of God. My sister, she is single. She's wholehearted. She's already whole. Been so, working on myself. Damn. You gonna call out her name like that? Well, no, I'm not. I'm not no, putting it out in the universe. For real, I asked Santa to put it in the universe. So, so you're so already a hoe. So she's <laughs> virtuous. But uh, here's the thing. Um, oh, you said a hoe. No, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm saying oh, for. I said but, you're already a hoe. No, oh, I'm, yeah. saying, I'm saying. I'm <laughs> saying. I'm saying for the hoes out there oh, who's I'm married saying, or who's in a commitment. I'm not talking about Sierra. Oh. I'm talking about other women like myself because I did a hoish act. I'm not going to lie, but what I'm saying is. I wouldn't call it a hoish act. Did you I'm come saying, out with it or I did told him, out? I told him before I went when I came back. I was okay. upset because he didn't disclose everything. See, he know what he did. I'm mm -hmm. not going to. That's his story to tell. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, I had a certain mentality. I'm from Florida. I, I'm, I'm Kentucky raised, but I'm mm -hmm. Florida fed. You yeah. feel I me? Mean? Like, yeah. I have a different mentality. I, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, come on, y'all. Look at our culture. Look at our music. Look at us. It's I was, sad, I man. was, I was saying, "Pop that pussy" when I was two. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. No, I mean, like, that makes it difference. Like, but I had to learn how to be a virtuous woman, and I had never really seen that through demonstrations in my life. That makes a difference too, if you didn't have that example. But my husband had already had mm -hmm. a marriage. He's ten years older than me, so I'm grateful to have a understanding mate now. You know, and for the women out here, y'all don't be keeping it real. Like my sister Sierra, she keeps it real. She's virtuous. You know what I'm saying? But me, I make the women that don't like to keep it real look bad. But y'all make me look bad. Because when I come out here and say what it is, what it really is, y'all want to make it seem like, oh, I ain't messing with nobody. I ain't okay. doing this and I ain't doing that. And then y'all breaking people's hearts because y'all not keeping it real. I made my bed. I laid in it. I'm still in therapy. I'm still. I, I haven't done it again. That's been a. That's been two years ago. I have never done that again. I love my husband. I love his dirty stinking drawers. I pray that he never retaliates back on me. I, I pray that he knows that every day I've been working towards being a better woman to my husband, to being a better mother, to being a better person. Because who I hurt, I hurt me. I hurt me first and foremost. And then I hurt him, and then I hurt the children, and then I hurt everybody else. But the person I hurt was I hurt me because I didn't know what it was to be a wife. And I got married impulsively, and I'm learning. I'm still learning. Yeah. But I know one thing. I learned from my mistake, and it'll never happen again. And I appreciate my husband. And I kept it real. I kept it real with God. Mm -hmm. I kept it real with him. Hell, I even told my dad what I did. I kept it real with him. And I ain't afraid to tell the world. I cheated. I was an adulterer. But I'm recovered, I'm reformed, and now I'm a virtuous woman. And it is what it is. And if you don't like it, fuck you. And if you understand it, put a hundred in the check. Right. You, can't, and as you, long can't just, you can't go from <laughs> Dr. Phil to motherfucking uh, Jerry Springer. <laughs> I'm going to go from Dr. Dr. Phil to Jerry to, 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 to Maury. He is the father. Right. He's the father and mm -hmm. he's the baby's daddy and he's the husband at once. And for my baby's daddy Girl, before cool. him, guess what? It is what it is. We we made beautiful babies. Sean, look you to know me, what we it got is. the home girl in here. You kidnapped my son. Oh, but nice guess what? Son. But guess what? God blessed me with a prudent husband. And I'm appreciative and he's helping raise your son, bro. And you should have a little bit more respect for him. But anyways, mm -hmm. off of that. Got real. Off of like, that. You know, like, I feel like as long as, you, as long as you, as long as you, you can never lose in life as long as you learn from whatever situation that you've been in. I repent it. Like, that's the way to look I at things. Like, you, there, to there's a silver lining and everything. So as long as Happy you learn it, you're winning. Because some motherfuckers don't lie. See what happens when you don't show the work. What's the business? 
I was hoping you was here tonight. I was hoping you was here tonight. I was hoping you was here tonight. Love you. But all my real people out there, y'all know me. All my people from Lexington, y'all know me. Florida, wherever you from, put your abbreviation of your state in the chat. If you from Florida, drop that FLA. If you from Kentucky, drop that KY. If you from Illinois, drop that shit. If you from Ohio, uh, you no drop Illinois that Illinois shit. If you from wherever, <laughs> drop that shit. <laughs> so are we going to take the podcast on the road or are we going to... And I'm on my meds, fresh out of <laughs> neural behavioral hospitals. Yes, I took my meds, and yes, mental health matters. That's what it does. Like, we, we talked about that well. last uh, episode. Like, I, I feel like it matters almost more than the physical, the physical health. Exactly. Yeah. I had to get my mind right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and I, it takes a strong person to get help, because there's plenty of motherfuckers walking around that need to get that's help. That's not brave that's, enough to, yes. go, to say I need help. Right, right. Exactly. So, yes. And guess what? I didn't know what it was to be a wife. For being open and, and, I, and we was friends first. But I really lucky. don't think up, if baby? we was friends first, what that it would have worked the way it did. Mm -hmm. But I think because he was my, because he was in relationship 20 years. Come on now. He was in relationship. Up, my, I had to my about stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so y'all had that even foundation. After, yeah. So like, that does help. And like you said, like you had never seen that. Um, I had to learn that too, like not be so hard on myself for how I acted in the past because I never had that example of what a healthy relationship should look like or what a healthy partner should be or anything like that. So when you learn in the lot along the way, shit, sometimes that shit is rough. It's like, rough. It really <laughs> is. And I, like, so and I'm not, so tough on yourself, ladies. Like, yeah, because I'm from Florida. I keep talking about the motherfucking ladies. Why y'all giving us fellas no more? I mean, I'm giving my husband props. He's a fruity man. He's a man of God. I love my husband. And it is what, what it is. is. Well, I mean, that's me saying, like, learning by example and stuff. You like saying, that. you keep looking in there and saying, ladies. Because I'm a lady. I'm a for the no, ladies. No, okay, so I'm guess what? My Lucy, you come on the show, whatever. Men lie, women lie, men cheat, Numbers don't women lie. cheat. But guess what? Women don't keep it as real. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm sorry, Sierra. I'm not, no, I'm not no, telling no, the truth. No, that's your opinion. No, that's what that's we're here for. Now, Come on, yeah, now. Speak on it. That's a fact. Speak on it. We don't keep it real because... We, we be in relationships and we be sliding in DMs and I know I used to be you know one. Yeah, man, do is it I'm time. talking about before my husband, even with I used to Can't do stuff. Everybody, everybody I used to be a time. player. I was a woman and I was a player. I grew up, I was a tomboy. You know what I'm saying? And the truth of the matter is when my husband came to me as a real man, I didn't know I didn't know how to appreciate a real man, and I was like a hot girl, and I tried to live a hot girl summer and got real cold and wintery real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't realize I wasn't hurting him. I hurt myself. Yeah. I hurt my relationship with the most high, and that's why I really hurt. And I feel like it's, honestly, for me, keeping it real, and I feel like there's no reason not to, because it's going to come out in the end. Oh, so Barbara Chomley. Yeah. Barbara Chomley said, "Real women keep it real. If you a real woman, yeah. I had to keep it, it real." No point. Shout out to my dudes. Regardless, just keep it real. I'm trying to get man. to heaven, you know. Like, oh, cause no, I feel like, with the, you know, the saying, "What happens in the dark comes to the light." That shit's true. So if you no know way. that shit's gonna come out. It may be years it later. Happen. It may not happen right away. That shit's gonna come out. It might not come it might out. Do it count? Is the nigga dead already, or the female dead? Sometimes. Dang. No, I'm asking. Like, I, I lost the same. If they already inspired, and it comes out, do, do it count? It still counts yeah, for I mean, the God. Thanks for the God. There's about nothing with you can do, dog. I mean, not everything, for the human. Everything counts. It ain't ain't nothing in the dark happening in the light. That don't count for God. So God I see it. I mean, I've been with somebody. But you asked, did it count? With y'all, I ain't got it. Well, everything well, yeah, 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 yeah. Because when you don't, because because when you know, what I'm saying you saying like you say everything that happened in the dark comes to, comes the, to light. the light. But yeah. for y'all, that we, you ain't talking about with God because God see it. If it's yeah, I'm just talking about like, so I'm talking about like with y'all. So if he died 
and it comes to the light after he's been dead, does that bother you? No, I repent. And and by, I, mean, I, I mean, momentarily. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because I've had to yeah, do it for the past temporarily. Away, maybe a few things came out after he passed away, and it did bother me a little bit. But at the same time, it wouldn't bother me. me. <laughs> <laughs> like he got little, man. Nah, I ain't gonna say all that. I'm, I ain't gonna say he got what you deserve. Fuck no. No, no but, I, but I'm just yeah, young, it, so that shit ain't gonna bother me. I'm gonna just be like, damn. Nah, it don't bother me. Might help me grieve a little bit. Like you know what? Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. But if I, I might even go to the grave, side, I, feel like, well, maybe I might even go to the grave too and just be like, yeah, "Bitch, I know." Well, let me ask you a question. Bitch, I know. Would you ever get married? Would I? Yeah. If it, if it happened, but I want to. I just don't like at my age now. I just, it's, it, I just don't really see it. I think that's, that's the best age to get married. Can I, to be okay. honest, if I was to get married, like. Going forward, I think I've been to get. I have to get married to a throwback. Exactly. Give me some. You see what I'm saying? Give me some. Like, you already give me some. Right. Yeah. Because, because yeah, like, at sure. my age now, I still got, like, that makes sense. I got to get to know this motherfucker. I ain't going to get to, because I'm keeping 100. I'm not getting to know you in a year. Remember what I said when I you said that saying? I think that it was better because me and my husband was actually friends? Yeah. 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 I would get to know you. That does make a difference. You exactly. feel me already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. still had to really get to know, but you didn't have to go, you didn't have to do too much. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. Like, right now, like I, if I meet a brand new ass person, that might not like I'm gonna have to really, really dig down and get to know. Cause, at, 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 especially the motherfucker my age, I got to dig back to at least twenty years. So do y'all feel like it's a time limit on when you should get married? Cause some people are like, uh, you mean, I don't think so. Being gay it might be a time limit for, for yourself. I don't think like, that's I feel like it's different. You, you are the constraint. That's what I'm saying. You can I, set a time for yourself. I don't yeah, think so. You know I'm saying? That got in, no, I'm saying for yourself. Top, I don't think it's, I don't think it's like, off of somebody that like a, like a, like a, a universal time, time that a motherfucker mm-hmm. say, yeah. if you ain't married by such and such age, you ain't supposed to get married. No, I just think you just set that for your damn self. Exactly. You set your own standards and your own boundaries. You know what I'm saying? So, because you can... Yeah, you know, motherfucker. You see, motherfucker, man, it's seventy years old. Like, what well, yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying? So, it's never too late. It's never too late for us. I, I need y'all to share this chat. I need y'all to make sure y'all tell a friend and tell a friend the about the real talk, crew. Share the live. Share the live, y'all. Share the live. It might help the somebody lie. else. The, hey, conversation is a spark for change. Share the life. So do y'all think y'all should have uh, people should have, it's easier when you have kids that are younger or older? What you mean? I ask everybody that. Like, oh, oh, somebody have that, you, you know, I, don't, I think that. Well, I can answer that because I had kids younger, younger and older. I had, I had a older. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's a hard question to ask somebody if they just, like if you had kids old, you didn't have younger, it's hard for you to answer that. I was or 30 ask when I had my first one. That ain't really, oh, I think that's, that really should, if you don't know, in the real world, okay, that should be right around the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just us, we just get them going so that they don't young. But I had kids young and old. So which um, one was easier for you? I, I think that I'm more knowledgeable. Uh, I feel like you're about more patient. The caretaking so like of a child. Well, mm-hmm. it's easy. It's easier for me to say when I was older because I was like shit older. I was, when you get older, you you supposed to get mature. So I got right. mature. I knew how to handle kids. I knew what to do. I knew what to expect. I knew I knew I knew how to be a father. I asked this. You know what I'm saying? When I first had my kids and I was young. When I first had my kids, I was young. So these are my first ever kids. I don't know how to be a father. I didn't have a father. My father passed away when right. I was feet to the street. Right here, dude. You see what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I, I didn't know how to be. I had to learn how to be a father. You know what I'm saying? Share this life. Share this life. And to be a mother and to be a father in the big, when you first, on your first child, that shit is not easy. Right. It's you a shout out to all my single mothers so, and single fathers. Yes. Yeah. There are single fathers out there. Parent. I don't think they ever. You know what I'm saying? Whether you, you young or old. Let me say yeah. this. I was just talking to my friend. My friend told you she don't have no children. We, we, we were around the same age. She's probably there. I was just talking to her. So when I had. Andrea, yeah, bye. bye. When I had my bye. first child, I was 30. Okay? I was 29. So she can come in here, sit on the couch. Basically, my stepmom. I didn't know you had a child. I ain't seen you in so motherfucking long. I got four. I had my first at 30. <laughs> Four, no, like your kids? Yeah. That I, came out of you? Yeah. Damn, nigga, I ain't seen you in a long time. Uh, yeah, that's a long story. 
<laughs> but I got four. I had one at 29. I had one at 35. I had one at 39. And I just had one at 41. Okay, he's four months old. And I look good she on my good. mama, on my hood. Anyways, um, so my, my, my stepmama was like, well, you about 30 years old. You, you didn't pass the nursing program. And you ain't got no degree. And you ain't got no husband. You might have a child. That's what she told me. Then she said, can you have any children? So I, I wanted to, I had a child because I wanted to make my stepmama proud. And just, like I, what it do. and just like I told my friend Toya, I, I don't regret my baby because I love um, her. Every Thursday. But I wish I would have just Thursday, got to know 10 me. Clock, nine, yeah, 30, that's the whole reason why I like have that. had it. I like, wish I, I would have not let society choose when I have a child mm -hmm. because I was trying to prove something to society. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I can have a child. Hey, I can love something and take care of it and have mm -hmm. it love me back. I wanted to have a love that I felt like I'd never experienced before. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I've and, had those thoughts. And that's and that's why. Yeah. But I wish I would have been patient with Don't myself. Don't share the bag. Mm -hmm. Don't share the laugh. Because Follow the page, the man. You got to be in the world but not of it. Right, when you break out of those societal standards, exactly. it just makes life a lot easier. Like, fuck what they said, what they think. So that's why I say be. you are a virtuous woman. And that's why I say that I know that God has a man for you. Thank you. Specifically I that for you. I you don't do. deserve to be a side chick. Mm. You don't deserve to be an afterthought. You deserve to be a priority, a top priority. For real, Sierra. Thank I, you. I, I, I need to always that. looked at you like that. Always. That. I've never judged you. I've never looked down on you. I'm I've never looked at you second. like I've always looked at you <laughs> as a virtuous woman. See, you, you have to be a virtuous woman before you become a virtuous wife. You that see what true. I'm saying? Yeah. And, the, and the thing about it is, I didn't know, so maybe God is allowing me to speak to you yeah. to save you from the mistake that I made. Yeah, because these are some yes. inner conversations that I'm having really myself. Shit. Because when I, because no matter what, I hurt my husband. And any time he could pull that car, we could be yeah. arguing about the trash. That's another thing. And he would be like, oh, you like, dang, I wish you, I would have messed you, with a few more people. You know what I'm saying? Don't be yeah. Don't be, I that, I it wasn't that. that. I, was trying to, to I was trying to hurt my husband. Don't be that a, was intentional. Don't be okay. It wasn't like I was just being a thot. Don't be right. a thot. No, no, no. I, I, I wanted to hurt him because hey, I felt like he took away my children. Don't be out here encouraging these lovely young ladies to not be a sad. Sad one. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Hey, sad women need love too. You don't mind being a side nigga? Who? Yeah. You, nigga. That's my nickname. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bartholomew, sad nigga Jones. <laughs> hey, sad women and sad niggas need love too. But I guess what? I tell you what. I I might have told my testimony, but let me tell you something, Timothy Lamont Johnson. We ain't doing it. You feel me? Because guess what? He asked me if yeah. I would have been able to take that. He asked you what? No, I wouldn't have. Right. I kept it real. You right. feel me? Because yeah, for one, what? you traumatized me the first time. You feel me? Like, you didn't keep it real with me, and I was going through something. I wasn't even technically in my right fucking mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You hurt me, bro. And I had already did that with you. So technically, we kind of even. Even though I did what I did when we was married, mm -hmm. and God is holding me accountable for that. But my husband knows what he did to me. And he knows what he did on top of that to not fully disclose. Hey, John, the thanks for tapping in. And so we've Early already shit. dealt with Early that. So guess do. what? We ain't taking no side chick applications. Uh, you know We're we not taking uh, no side men's applications. But we are Dude. taking babysitters. Dexter. I know that's right. Dude, Dexter. I've asked him. He may, he, I know he has to be right. He may not be up there. I'll say, I need Dexter back in there. Share the laugh. Tell a uh, friend to tell a friend. Real talk. Cause I asked him if he had any topics for tonight. Real talk crew every Thursday, man. Nine thirty, ten ish. We all we're black. In the building. And we ain't yeah, on no yeah. light schedule, nigga. That's real, real talk. Crew. But we uh, on yeah. every Nothing Thursday, night. What y'all want to know? And um, we gonna yeah, start, start doing comments, um, comments. we gonna start doing some more things. We got some things in the cut. We can tell y'all that. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we got to get more guest uh, appearances. 
We got more and more and more and more. So y'all make sure y'all keep it tuned in. And also y'all make sure y'all check out my YouTube Summer TV 25. Uh the Rosa <laughs> and y'all make sure y'all come to the karaoke at the social vegan tomorrow night tomorrow night my girl sierra she hosted she's the Stay host of the, the mostest <laughs> you gonna take my job girl she's the co-host you ain't no sad no, wait a minute no Bartholomew is the co-host. Sierra hosts uh, the mic. Yeah, I host the mic. Oh, but I do stay on the mic. Don't get me wrong. Well, Sierra, she's she the hostess host, and the mic. She the host. She the host after the co-host. After the co-host. Okay, karaoke. So we got part of the crew. Let's just put. We got OG LP and then we got Sierra. We doing all the talk. What y'all got to say? I know. You don't want to took us off the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we 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 spectating the night shit. Nigga, last Saturday was live, nigga. And if you it's wasn't there, show. I feel sorry for you. Last Saturday when? Frankfurt. Yeah, yeah, Frankfurt. What is it? Uh, for real? For real? DJ's when I was live, man. I was in rare form DJ's last Saturday. Y'all missed it. Did you film it? Of course. It's on you YouTube right now. Go check real? that out. OGLP, the really one. On YouTube. You know, Go you check that, that, that show. Damn it was on there. That's good. It's on there right now. 30 minutes of me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know too many niggas that can go 30 minutes, dog. I went 30. I went 30. Hey, oh, Ashley, nice I kept it real for the ladies, Ashley. She put the 100 in the chat. <laughs> Ash. Cuz was going. That nigga, mm -hmm. my man came up and wished it to me. Like, hey, man, tell that nigga to stop. I got to get the I'm other I told that's what out. happened, and he gave me. Nobody else after me. Right? Look, you the last one. He came, came back to me. He came back to me after three more songs and went back. He was like, hey, man, this nigga got to stop, man. I said, hey, bro. <laughs> Look, the nigga on fire and the DJ keep playing. He keep playing. <laughs> okay. he keep the, the DJ keep playing. The DJ playing kept on to his songs, right? Up right. So yeah. I told him. I told him. Yeah. So I told him. I told him. I say, bro, I say nice two things is going on right here. The nigga on fire, he in the zone, and the goddamn DJ keep playing. So the DJ gonna keep on to the next song. Shout out DJ Spoon, man. And DJ Spoon, like 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 DJ Spoon had me on one, man. Yeah. 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 I was not, so I was like, like, DJ Smooth, shout out to DJ Smooth. I didn't even know what song was coming up there. I was like, nigga, run it, run it, run it. He was on point, like, like shit, he was gone. What songs you do? Oh, oh shit, he about 12 shit. on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the DJ was coming to, I mean, the, and, the, and dude was coming to. And he didn't do parcels. The nigga did 12 full, full songs. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. It takes a true entertainer. My brother's an artist. Listen, I think my brother is a lyrical genius for real if it weren't for my Ooh. brother i would not know how to do bars i didn't hear you i would see. not eat who oh sarah lee hey nobody let me tell y'all that's my sister that's my other sister i got to be like one of the most famous names out there sarah lee yeah nobody does it like sarah lee that's my nigga though hey hey let me tell y'all something texas baby we in the are you from Kansas? they think i'm crazy so okay, exactly. Everybody got a little crazy in them. I feel like if, we should embrace it. If you ain't crazy, we right. ain't fucking with you. Say you ain't crazy. <laughs> you know, everybody, I tell my patients that work for real. Everybody got a little crazy. For real, that's true. That shit. That's like, true. You my sister for real, mm -hmm. for real, for real. Long time. But that's what I be telling motherfuckers too, though, man. When you when you run across a motherfucker like man, that nigga crazy, I'm like, bro, everybody crazy. Everybody yeah. got crazy. And they know like, like, and they, they know who crazy, I found, like, God. Want to act stupid crazy? Guess what? If a nigga is crazy and gonna act stupid crazy, I mean, he approaches that next KK. All she gonna do is make the motherfucker he approaching crazy. Exactly. That's what I told you. Everybody got crazy. Love them, love them. If you make them be crazy. Yeah. But if you come up to me acting all dumb and crazy, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm retaliating with being dumb and crazy. Yeah. What it do? You see me, man. Still that's why we hate one motherfucker, man. You in the glory crazy. Well, bring this crazy ass on over. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite one. Michaela. Like you What's up, little sis? You ain't got some shit going uh, on. Uh, town like in the building. Sarah Lee. Utter the, utter the. Michaela, out of the, out of the, with the long bars in the chat. Like, I don't really like to be on um, doing that fighting and getting into it. Oh, um, me either. It takes a lot um, to get me there, but I'm really, it takes a lot I'm to a bring me there. Nay, nay. I'm a peacemaker, but I'm also a protector of anybody that I fuck with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if you bother us or you bother me or anybody that I'm with, 
Nigga, we in somebody in trouble. Yeah, they go. Yeah. yeah. Somebody they in go, somebody baby. In yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. said. Yeah. It like, uh, takes a lot to get me there, but once I get there, Jawana, Jawana, I ain't nothing wrong with being crazy. What up, Jawana? That's right. my dog. Yeah. You got to have everybody. I feel like right. everybody got to have crazy. Yeah. I feel like everybody got to have crazy in them to protect themselves from crazy. Mm-hmm. That's true. You got to be crazy to protect yourself from crazy. That's true. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Being crazy can get you out of some shit. Yeah. Yeah, for real, for real. Like that's shit. documented. I don't got stop. I don't got. I don't went off. Okay, and the police came, and they. Yeah, I, they and I said, I need help. Send me to the. Send me to the place, mm-hmm. and they took me to the mental place, mm-hmm. and they let me out. I work at a mental health. But I ain't gonna tell y'all like everything. Y'all gonna have to pay me for that. <laughs> for real, you can't, get, can't have it all. Like, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, Meeks, what up, baby? Oh. Taylor, not that one. Oh. What up, Big Meeks, man? What's yeah, going on, Z? I go to therapy. I've been going to therapy for four years. What's, going on? Really? What's the one nigga name? Drake? Yeah, yeah. Marco, Drake. Marco, Polo. Childhood trauma. Yeah. 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 Because that shit Mar- control Marco, Drake. Like, once you know, go like to that. therapy, you just learn how to control What up, Kevin Fox, man? He came in last week at the end. Heck yeah. He got in my right mind. I felt like he was about to. Girl, I was like, I don't know what. So you know what I was doing? Tamika, where Marco? Yeah, Tamika, where Marco? Sequoia, I know. Like, <laughs> sharing lives, Sequoia. 
So all your millions and millions of fans. They can do crazy ass fans. Share this live. Oh, we up to 19. Let's see if we can get up to 20. Nope. Huh? Thanks Damara for the support, Akeem. Sure. Damara Akeem. Thank you for the support. I ain't seeing none of you both. Share the live. Make sure you go tap in. What can I say? The names just coming in that he calls. Follow the Real Talk crew page. Follow, 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 share. It don't cost nothing to support, baby. Couple hits of the button. Follow the Real Talk crew page. 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 Somebody said, what's the side that? nigga's responsibility? Who oh, said that? Yeah, what's what? <laughs> William Howard. He said, what's the side nigga's what? responsibility? Shit, we just do it to him. Oh, my God. Did you, uh, what? Oh, man, I he said, go oh, ahead. Hold on, I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say <laughs> consistency. Because you there for oh, a reason. Okay. Right. The right. consistency is that. I so then that makes call, it seem like I have side niggas, but I don't. Like, if I'm yeah, in a relationship, you ain't in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, really but I'm just saying, like, that's all. Only thing we there for is see, it's sex. Yeah, what the like, fuck? I've cheated people? before, but the only reason why I felt that's mm -hmm. to cheat was like, all right, this what you listen to Keisha go? He's not doing what he should be doing. Like, oh my god! Like that, should have cheated. We got two women laughing. Because I'm not gonna just. She oh, Lisa Marie said, what up, look? What's up? Oh, they at? Mm. Uh, I thought that was my people, people. Man. What up, though? Share the vlog, Lisa. She from the D? I don't know. I can't click on that. Um, Zumara Hakeem, I already said, what Share up, the people? Last what up, anyway? Yeah. Zumara, where you from? Um, Share the live, Zumara. That's a hell of a name. Ain't nobody mistake you. No shit. What's, what's the name? Like Zubara Hakim. That's a strong name, boy. That's like Mustafa. This nigga said Hakim yeah. like he all motherfucker coming to the <laughs> Zubara Hakim. So did y'all like that second? You can't say that shit weak. I, 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 I like, I like, because a lot of the second um, movies, parts, I don't be liking. But coming to America, it was funny. Was always the best. Um, yeah, I don't think it was better than the first one, but they, no, they but made I think it, it was okay. all right. It wasn't like damn, they yeah, should just left it with one. It yeah. was all right. Like, like I Eddie watched Murphy it. his flowers. They don't give that nigga his flowers. I'll, that nigga done a lot. Eddie day. Murphy, yeah, that nigga got his mother. He got Eddie a whole bouquet here. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like I ever heard anybody like that. Nigga, we don't need to talk about no more. We straight with him. Damn, you feel me, there, boy? Niggas that you. Niggas that you you hear motherfuckers still be talking about, that's because they got to still out here trying to be relevant. Thank you, Juwana. You know so Thank you. Gotta... Shout out to Juwana. Mm -hmm. She shared the live again. My Thank people. You. My people. Thank you. That's how we're going to be able to. Look, we see y'all like what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to keep us coming back, y'all want it to get better, brown up, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and share, man. Don't take that's free. So are you officially crew? Because I hear you yo, you from France, and, you know, we can make you officially crew, though. Are you officially the crew? Yeah, get me a t-shirt. There's already a way, like, you can, like, get me a t-shirt. We got to get you a t-shirt. Back again. It don't yeah. get cold in South Florida. <laughs> we can't give you I'm a hoodie. I'm jealous. I can live somewhere that's Give me a workout outfit. And I can wear it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm
Shout out Bell County, man. My middle borough nigga, man. What's happening? Bell County. Oh, yeah, that's where my older bitch, brother's from. Nigga. Middleborough. That's where my brother's from. Who's your little brother? My older brother. Who's your older brother? Who? Away. What's his name? Emmanuel. You know Emmanuel from? Emmanuel what? Emmanuel what? His last name was mine. Back he was into the Coles. Mark Coles. Did he have a name? Emmanuel Coles. Becker. Nick. Yeah, Emmanuel Becker. We know, you oh, know Emmanuel, Emmanuel Becker from? Emmanuel oh, and Becker. And the Coles. He Rest from the peace. Coles family. The topic is whatever you want it to be. Uh, he passed away, right? Yeah. Do you Rest believe? Do you believe in? Uh, That's the power. Oh, we can ask what the topic. I'm down for both of my brothers. Demetrius asked what, what the topic is. Me, See, we we gonna switch about twelve different topics. But the, you gotta answer the call, uh, B. Do you believe in faithful relationships? Do you believe, you believe in exist? monogamy? Do you believe in magic, nigga? <laughs> Do you believe in monogamy? How many people live in, believe in polygamy? We talked about that too. This is really more common nowadays. To have two girls at one time. Yeah. Two wives at one time. Same house. I would do it to two girls at one time, but I don't want to. No, I'm not. I don't want two wives. That's not work. My baby daddy got two wives. I'm talking about cheating is a lot of work. Like, that's right. You know, you got my baby daddy got two wives. It's just too much. I can't do that to have two. What, first of all, it's illegal. Exactly. That's what I said. But I ain't saying no lies. First of all, they got a whole motherfucking show about it. They not married then. They not married. Yeah, they are. They are all. They're not married. It's illegal. They said it. They just said they together. What's it called? Sister wives. They're not married. It's one man. It's like four. Like no, no way. Them is them is women. They not married. It's illegal. They probably did like that. Nigga, uh, said he was in the uh poly relationship back in the nineties before niggas knew what it was. How did that go work? for you, B? Look, I know. How did it work for you, baby? Because you ain't in it no more, nigga. You said you was. Oh, another word for that, he was a pimp. Yeah. In the I 90s, that's it. called a pimp. Little <laughs> Frankie, would you do it? Nah, I can't have two women. In the same household at the same time? Yeah. I'm saying, would you do it, period? Like, nah. even if you can separate them. I'm territorial. I ain't nah, going to say But like I said, they, don't, they can be your two girls in the same house. Because you can't, you can't get married. You can't have multiple spouses. Marco was okay. Like, if Marco is my brother's dad, dad. Oh, oh, fuck Oregon. I mean, Emmanuel Co or Emmanuel Beck. Yeah, can I go to one house too? Like, can I split my time? Uh, <laughs> Marco was my brother's dad. If I split my time, what do you mean? Nigga, I be at one house three days, another house five. My older brother, his spouse. I got a wife at this house and wife at that house. Nah, nigga, I bounce back and forth. Yeah, I can do that. Bounce back and forth. Not, not every, not every three days. Oh, go home. I can't have them in the same house together. No, I can't do those things. I can't live in the same house with y'all. That's gonna be that's gonna be active, dog. What? You with you being with two women at the same time in the same house? He's my brother's dad. Oh, okay. Stay talking to you about your people. Yeah, she's from she's from Bell County. Okay, so I'm from Harlan County. What's up, Morgan? Morgan Brown. You see Teresa Gilbert on there? Shout out to Bill County, all right, Bill County and this motherfucker, man. Shout out to the O, man. Don't know anything about Share the lab, y'all. We fuck with the country, man. Shout out to the country, man. I grew up in Ohio. We know 77% of the people in Bell County. Southside. Southside. I'm a country girl at heart. You got Southside. All right, y'all. I'm about to be out of here. What you doing? My friend only gave me an hour limit to be here. You should have told that nigga to come in here with a light skin today. She ain't coming. T. Yeah, why she ain't come in? She ain't coming in. Come here, Toya. She is not for the camera. Come on, they got me on camera. Nigga. You got to yeah. sit on the no couch camp, the on the couch. Well, from the no uh, cap, the no camera couch. Toya said like there was some real players. She, she might. <laughs> Toya like there was some real Toya players. Toya like there was some real players. I know she's talking, having her own. Them niggas know how to talk. They this nigga good. said you can marry up to five, up to four women. Nigga, where? Yeah, nigga. That's in, what in I'm Africa, saying. Maybe that's changing. In Africa, because like, it ain't changed. But the like, only it's, way. It's the whole law the, in the United States of America. The only way you, you can do that before. in another country is the elders have to approve it and you have to be financial capable of Thank you, Lisa, for sharing the live, baby. That's you the only way you can have those, it. Uh, and you're a real one. Those, you, uh, so you, you think that should be a law here? The law that? What? No, I just thought it was you think, the elders. What you think? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, do you think they should pass that law here? Make that a... No, I, I think, I think we can barely... Do I think with the baby I'm daddy, baby mama statistics, I'm we can it. barely get along with one. So I think we can try and practice on that. I do, I do think that would be someday a thing, though, that they will put that on there. 
for the Congress and all the motherfuckers. And I feel like they should just let people do what they want. Because, because, because motherfuckers doing it so much now. Yeah, but the ma- but the divorce rate is so high. It's gonna be a while. The divorce rate is so high. I can only deal with one. <laughs> exactly. exactly, exactly. I rest my it case on that note. I'm out. The divorce rate is all the way up to here. We need to learn how to to amend these broken relationships first and foremost. Yeah, I feel okay? that too. Yeah. But he's cheering, and I'm out of here. Thank Thanks y'all. for coming. That nigga Mike said we can only deal with one of you unstable like creatures at a time. Exactly. Thank you for coming through. Where y'all going at? I'm going to get my drink. Slide. Where, we, where we going? Where y'all going sliding down the line? Wherever Real, real Top TV is going. Where yeah. we going? You know where to go, nigga. It's Thursday and Lexi. What are you trying to go? What's Creole looking like? Thirsty Thursdays. Is that what it is? Yeah. What is where is that at? It's yeah. just like the thing. We are tonight. Nice people. Oh, they downtown. We're just anywhere. Like oh, they, we are tonight. That's because I'm here. Because I'm here. Hey. Quant- we in the building. Quantessa Taylor. What it do? We need to get us some viewers. Uh, I'm going to just call you Tessa. I don't want to mention that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm loving the air. Oh, no. She is too high. <laughs> I took my meds. I fresh off my meds. <laughs> Straight out of the crazy house. Y'all won't see crazy. Well, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm legally I'm crazy. crazy. No, I'm trying to... Oops, that's oh, not, that's not. Oh, not. Oh, man, crazy? Wait, this is a family reunion. Here we go. We here. We back. <laughs> I'm not used to say. Take your time. Do it right. I forget it. Damn. Mama used to say, "You a man in this land." Uh, uh, what I'm saying. Mama used to say, "Keep the faith, stay away yeah, from I'm the faith." Family, yo, but oh God, I don't like used that. to say, "Mike said, one girl to this very he day. can only deal with one of you unstable creatures at a time." Hey. Hey. And there well, goes well, the yeah, man. said, "In Islam, you can marry up to four wives, but you have to be able to financially support them." Well, how many you get? Nuki. Nuke, you that ain't got some, some one wife. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't like to share, so I ain't doing that. In but Islam, yeah. nigga. If, so, um. If Islam so will bond, we all be see, there. You, but you said you. What you want to say? You will be cool with multiple husbands? Oh! That was. That. that was. Uh, no, that was. 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 But once I got married, my husband, he's all the man that I need. So let me ask you a question before you dip out of here. Yes. You don't think both of them niggas are like less of a man to sit back and be sharing one woman? No. I I mean, do you think women are less than women? In that case, I would actually do things. I would. I, I feel like, no in that case, I don't think you know about that female. Like to share but yeah, in that situation, I'm like, like somebody got some low self esteem here. Okay, I, I said, okay. <laughs> to so, be allowing, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you love this man and she love this man, so fuck what we both gonna have. Well, I think that, let me just say this. I feel where you coming from. I think that it happens like that anyway, right. naturally yeah. sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that, I think that naturally, if we just think about what we have our physicalities men have outer we have inner mm-hmm. like with me first of all it's hard to keep this clean anyway you have to worry about yeast infection bacteria infections this that not use this so it's so much to worry about for a woman i wouldn't suggest it for a woman yeah but for a man, I would say be careful because y'all pass that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. I think that if you do it responsibly, I think if you it's have the income to do it, shit, I, I think that if you have two women that's like track Yeah, role, so it just depends uh, like, on the person. Not, when you, when you, when you sit there something. and you think about that, I just be wondering like how the fuck, like I be saying this shit Somebody on Facebook, said, and I'm gonna keep it 100. When I be saying that shit, I don't be thinking yeah. that shit be real. Lisa Marie yeah. said, fuck that. It has become more common. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that should be real because we only see oh, it on huh? TV and on Facebook. I feel like that's the same as somebody saying as long as they take care of home, I don't care what they do. Yeah, so I don't want to change. You don't care who they fuck But in this case, but that's what I'm saying. In this case, both of them, y'all all in the same house together, so that's not a that part is thrown out the window. It's some women that are doing I have a friend. Her name is Tiffany. She's a thoroughbred. She's married. She's got a husband, and she's got a wife. I'm, just, I'm saying I it's, it's public knowledge. 
Tiffany Belford. This is public knowledge. I love you. Shout out to Juicy the Third Breast. But I know that's my homegirl. It's Juicy. She, I mean, she got her own shit going. Did you see her. Juicy? Yeah. So, so which she, one is she married to? She's married to her husband. And she just got a woman, too. And then she, yeah. but that's he's married to her. I love you, Juicy. I don't understand. Yeah, me neither. But sometimes somebody ain't married. To understand. No, I'm not saying that somebody ain't married. Big picture. If you don't understand some shit, it ain't meant for you. Some, yeah. You don't understand. Yeah. No, I'm talking about, I, I, I understand what she's talking about the relationship is. I'm saying as far as the marriage. Some, somebody's somebody's not, married. not married. I think. You see what I'm saying? I told you on that show. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. You, show TV hey, is, Tim, that's not. You and your family, stop. if y'all want to come on Real Talk Crew yeah. be for TV. and explain y'all situation. But somebody ain't married. Because there's some that, people that, that want to have y'all situation and some people but, don't understand it. But if y'all want to come on Real Crew TV, y'all come on over here and tell them about, you know, y'all think how it works, y'all don't work or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come in and, and talk about it. But, like, I'm just saying, like, as far as two, two, a woman having two men in the same household, Oh, that's I be, I'm just trying to figure out like somebody gonna hear. Once I got married, I was like, oh no. Nah, what I'm saying is, I just you want to think like, how did that conversation come about? How did this happen? Well, I seen yeah, a documentary. Women. Yeah, for I a woman, they have two men oh, living in the same house. So, you know what I'm saying? In bed with two men, ain't right. Well, not in bed. My grandma did it. My grandma did it. That's what I'm saying. My grandma had a man. She had a husband and she had a side dude. And they came to the house at the same time. Ooh, seeing green the yeah. And they lived there? Yeah, at the same time they was there. No, I ain't talking about being there. I'm talking about living. I'm saying, like, yeah. Like, moved in. Like, they, these motherfuckers. Like, this, that's a fire. As far as the marriage. Me and my auntie was just talking about it yesterday. I stopped in Tallahassee. One of them, will, she, they would come over. But you know. One of them will be in the back watching TV. And the other <laughs> one will be playing so solitary. Let me, let me ask you this. How old was your grandma at that time? Oh, at the time, my grandma was like, "Oh, geez, you know, oh, geez, guys." Like she was like, "Was empty." I'm gonna keep it 100. The older you get, you or caring with the you older, because I have like when I see older, older, like, cause, 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 I see a lot of grandmamas in my old neighborhood and all that, and they be having the old niggas that's their age be drooling on, and they respect it. But my, my, yeah, my grandma, they don't care. They, my they, grandma had it going on at 50. You know what I'm saying? My so, grandma, um, she was like, she wasn't a regular 50. Older, you know, older, I have seen that. that she like wasn't a lot. Like, <laughs> Sure but the thing about it is my granddaddy, so I heard, he treated my grandma real bad back in the day. So my grandma was on some get back. I'm not going to lie. But I never knew that granddaddy. I knew the angel granddaddy, but everybody else knew my granddaddy before then. So so my grandma, she... And I feel like back in the day, nobody was paying attention too much to what you did. Like, it was less judgmental. You know, fuck he you said, I didn't share my wife. Shit wasn't like, out there. Yeah. Somebody I'm, said I'm back married. Back then, only way it got out there is just you tell me, and Thank you I tell them, you tell them, it's, it's word of mouth. Right. Now, it's just so much shit, how shit can get spread. Thank you for keeping it real, right. Lisa. Thank you for keeping it real, Nookie, Amir. Thank y'all for keeping it real. That name is Nookie. <laughs> well, fucking Amir. Who is the Amir? Nigga? My son. Change your mother. Yeah, my uh, nephew. Yeah. Hey, 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 Nookie. Remember back in name, Nookie. Remember back in 2010, nigga, you tried to have me hook you up, my baby mama. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga came straight up to me. So, like, did, you, so did you respect that? <laughs> he, that he came straight up to you, or you would have preferred not to? No, he didn't know it was my baby mama. Oh. He didn't know it was my baby mama. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> now you went out and hooked your head and came up to you and said it. I was like, laugh. You get it now, dude. No, I laughed and was like, nigga, that's my motherfucking woman. And he looked at me like, no, you for real? I'm like, nigga, that's my baby mama, nigga. Like, my real life girl. And they said, it was um, funny. I was laughing like a little I require too much attention. I know that's right. right. And that's why I, I can't know do that's it. That's right. That's why I can't do it. Because when they require too much yes, damn attention. Yes, I told And I'm only one nigga. Right. What up, Nate? Where you come from? You just popped You've been in this bitch for a minute. You've been in this bitch. Comment on that. Oh, nay. You rapping for, for me. They ain't say a half yeah. Not rapping for Tay, rapping for Nate. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here for TV, man. I'm just going to go check on it, y'all. I'll be back. I'm pulling up. Where y'all going? La Rosa Live in the building. Up, Make sure y'all go and uh, subscribe to Samir TV. 25. You so check out my girl. YouTube. And make sure y'all share this live. Real Talk Crew. Y'all make sure y'all tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell, Remember? Tell them one time for who? Shoe shine. One time. One time. Shoe shine. shine. And remember, I'm going to have his wealth. Nigga, yes. you, my, nigga yes. you get mad at me like you're bad for a court hooping. 
Every time I bust their ass, nigga, I, that was my slogan. They one time for shoe shine. Bust their ass. <laughs> one time for the shine, man. Oh, one time man. for shoe shine. Yeah, that was my word, nigga. When I let that bitch go, one time, when well, especially when I see that bitch going in, one time for shoe shine, nigga. Yo, but I remember, man, it. man, shoe shine used to play that boosty. That would get up off me. That would get up off me. That would get up off me. That would get up. Ah! <laughs> this nigga's crazy. <laughs> <great. laughs> Too high. What up, Who is that? Yeah. This, this was a great life last session for the end of the year. I my name no, Louise, no, man. Was that good? Put me on to that, that first show. We should have had 12 guests tonight, nigga. I didn't even think about that. Last show of the year. See, it ain't no matter. Twist where you at, man. Come on in here, man. Let's talk about six miles. Damn, my nigga ain't eat. You tagged him. See, oh, Twist was in here early. I don't know where he went to. So Pull up, Twist. My dude's supposed to come through. She said, maybe next time. She mm -hmm. hit me with the next time shoulder. Uh, who that like it? Somebody hit the thumbs up. I know I want to bring my cousin on. Arnetta. She must have fell asleep and I thought she was going to tap in tonight. But I didn't see her, but I'm here. She bring her on to your toe. <laughs> Shout out to... Uh, What's up, uh, man? New Year's. I'm trying to be bent. Me too. They need to tell me this is my birthday weekend. I'm trying to be... I'm starting tonight, nigga. Shit, fuck all that work. You ain't have work tomorrow? Mm hmm. They put you off for the rest of the next week? Mm hmm. I know that's right. Yup. That time. What's up, man? Throw some words out there. This is the big three mm -hmm. four. Like, Throw some words out there. So, what um, basketball player number is 34? Like, notorious. Paul Pierce, Shaquille O'Neal. Because last year was my. Um, when I was 32, that was so my bad year. Magic exactly. Johnson. Then when I was 33. Angel Hall, what it do? Angel, that's my niece. Oh, for real? We got the same last name. That's my cousin. Uh, let me look at the profile. Oh, yep. Hey, Angel. What hey, Missy Clue. Thanks for tapping in. Where we going at, y'all? Huh? That's why you say where we going. All right. We, we're going. Tell Tony, come on in here. You have to tap in every Thursday, Angel. Watch this. There's some videos on there, too. What up, bro? Yeah. Supporting black owned. Get that money. So my brother got said that Mark Code was his dad. That's his oh, daughter. Yeah. Uh, See he nasty in the Yes, so, I'm thinking, baby. So, what's 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 her what's her category? 
Brown we in the building. There she goes. I hate when like she's light skinned. She's hazelnut. It's brown. It's brown hazelnut. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, see, remember we were talking about red bones earlier? That's this not red is bone. a red bone today. That's not a red bone. She's hazelnut. That's caramel. not red. That's caramel all day. Bone. That's not a red bone. Hot color is T nasty. We got a new color. Hot color. Hot color is T nasty. We can use T nasty. That's her, that's her name in the street. So, um, <laughs> that ain't, um, that, that ain't, that ain't really light though. skin for sure. That's caramel, no. huh? She light skin in it for sure. Yeah, like. She light like skin, but she not a red bone. No, so what's red bone? Red Give me some eyes. Like, red, red bone is high yellow. Than you can see yourself a red bone? No. I don't feel like high yellow is like, red bone. Like, if you was, if you was that's on the bland date type shirt. shit, like if she was to hook you up with a nigga over the and you talk to him on the phone, and nigga. Like, what you dark? Before you send him a picture, what you gonna tell him? You brown skin, right? Yeah, brown skin. Yeah, brown skin. She ain't gonna. I don't think she ain't white skin. I wouldn't have said brown skin. Mm -hmm. No, I thought she was white. <laughs> I wouldn't have said red either. I thought I'm light skin, did he? You don't like like you don't want to say light skin. Nobody want to be light skin. What's up with that? Red bones. Cause light skin. When you think of light skin, bro, you got to be a few a couple of shades lighter than him. Y'all about the same color? Who? No. She like the shade lighter than him. Yeah. Right. I'm like, brown skin. I'm a little darker. More like caramel complexion. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's y'all just black than a motherfucker. So y'all just think we light skin. I'm, I'm black. I'm black than a motherfucker. I'll take black than a motherfucker. I'll take it. But I'm black than this nigga. So <laughs> I'm black than a motherfucker. She's just dark skinned. Yeah. Miss Brown, <laughs> Ms. Brown said. Chocolate. I think Ms. red bones have a reddish just, undertone and a high yellow is yellow. A reddish undertone. I don't know, sis. That's what I'm talking about. You know, and I mean, you fucking me up, dog. Like, my motherfucking hair. So, look, when you take a hot shower, you come about that, means you red in the motherfucker. Is that what that means? You get cold and your Your profile picture, you don't look light skinned, Lisa. You look brown skinned. Hell yeah. You look about the same color as Morgan hair. What y'all doing there, Toy? I don't know. I ain't no such thing as Yeah, they took that shit away. Uh, I know y'all saying like, cause I know clubs did like specials on Thursday nights. Yeah, some of those have went away, but everybody goes out on Thursday night. They start Thursday night. Uh, night? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I'm telling y'all. Right. Creole starts their little stuff on Thursday. What they do on Thursday? She said on Creole. She said what they do on Thursday. Live band music, like. Cause I remember, um, think of all you could drink Thursday night. I know that was a good time. Yeah, drink yeah. Is good. Hats to yeah, drunk to they don't know who that is. She say, Rose Ro 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 say she's light, not light, not yellow. That's right. That's what I did. <laughs> well, we be out there. I will. Maybe. I don't know. Where we going to? I don't know where y'all niggas going. Wherever y'all going, I'm pulling up. I don't know if they're going to Y'all niggas is going to the lounge. I'm going to bed. Sleepy ass. Bed? I ain't proper to go outside. You got to go to yeah. work tomorrow? Yeah, you are. I'm still suspended. Damn, for real? I thought you looked like I thought you was, was out with it. It was out with it. It's supposed to be, but let's take the tag. Let's keep it 100. 100. Y'all bitches fired me. Fuck. Damn, is that what you think? They just trying to like slowly. Damn. That's my last. You got. They say you was suspended indefinitely, like on some Draymond yeah, Green shit. Suspended until some. Until further notice. Their loss. Yeah. Fuck them bitches. Fuck them. We 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 gonna boycott they ass. We ain't even gonna say y'all name yet. Right. We find out you fired the peoples. We boycott some shit. We boycott some shit. Y'all fucking lost. Motherfucker don't know. I, I know Jeffrey Fryer, nigga. Ooh. That nigga, the white motherfucker, Johnny Cochran of Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Fryer, nigga, one of the best so, lawyers uh, out there in Michigan. Thank you for everybody that came out tonight. This is Johnny Cochran. Yeah. She finna eat y'all with the Russell yeah. Simmons. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless you. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was quick with that shit, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's all he ever said. He never changed it up. They said, Russell, come say something to the people. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless. Good night. And he's out. It's over. Ooh, Why everybody always talking about me because I'm fat? Man? Being homie, right. Right. Like, that's, you can hear myself. Who is Russell? I see the comment. I'm like, yeah. I'm 
gonna keep it 100 with y'all niggas. niggas is in. Let me go ahead and put it I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Y'all be talking cold shit about my fat ass, but I be getting some pussy. Right, right. I'm one of the biggest whores in Lexington. I'm gonna throw it out there. Damn. Y'all can talk all that he shit. He said 10 fat. Big as in big, like in, like fat big, or yeah, big as right. in big. You got a whole Who's lot of. Who's Vito? Rose Seasons. Oh Tim God. Fat too, don't trip. Who's Tim? That's what I'm saying. Who is Tim? We don't know Tim. Only Tim I know is my sister husband. That nigga's good. Wait, to be deceived, and I'm always trying to catch the restaurant before they close, bitch. Right. No matter the size. Nigga, I got tacos. I don't need nigga, no I restaurant. I was offering you want tacos? You want tacos? You want tacos? Like, nigga, you want tacos? Get up. The offer's still up for the tacos. Why that nigga tell him my business? I am going to the motherfucking restaurant. <laughs> 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 I ain't taking that nigga nowhere. We're not going. We're going outside, dude. Nah, nah, I ain't going outside. I ain't going outside. I ain't going outside. I ain't I ain't even an outside nigga no more. The next nigga my taco. It's never too late. Lisa, Lisa I'm Marie. Outside, sure. I appreciate that, but baby, I'm call me fat. This nigga said I'm this pleasantly plump. Pleasantly <laughs> plump. That was pleasantly gay, Lisa. I'm no, just saying. Cause I don't like that one. Cause she just called me thick in a different language. Hell yeah, she did. <laughs> pleasantly plump. Oh man. She said, well, "Who is that, Rose Caesar? Where we from? We from all over." Yeah, we, we separated. I'm from, yeah, we, we from got, all over. We got Lexington in here. We got oh, Houston in here. Where you from, girl? We got Detroit, Missouri. This ain't one of this ain't one of y'all people's. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Ro, who you know on the panel? Who you know on the panel? Where right? you from, Ro? Talk to us. Where you where you at? Where you from? Who you know? <laughs> I was talking to the wrong niggas. She said pleasantly plump. <laughs> you say you ain't fat. You Maisha, Maisha, <laughs> Celeste, Celeste, what it do? What it do, Maisha? What's going on? Put a big ass shirt on, t shirt on. <laughs> nobody, Chicago. Say you don't know nobody on the panel, Chicago. All right, Chicago in the we, fucking building. We circulating then. If y'all oh, you know, know my nigga Z? Honest, you know my nigga Greg. Greg just shared the live on the low. You know Greg? That's my nigga. Oh, oh right. yeah. My nigga, shout out to he Greg, was in here? man. He popped in. He, he, nah, I tagged him though. He might have popped in for hot second so shirt, you motherfucker. Yeah, it's got it's double meat. Like you gotta get the man. double meat. You don't get double you meat, man. You work like. wasting your time, huh? Yeah, you work wasting your time. Because I'm bang by him, I'm getting a regular setup now. No, we we in Kentucky, but we all from different parts of the uh, country. I'm I'm Midwest like you. Y'all ATL. Nah, I'm HTX. Houston, Texas, baby, man. We in, we all in Kentucky right now, but I'm from Detroit. H Town in the flex, man. I'm a real Texas nigga. But you can catch me off the KY. Shout out to my Kentucky niggas, man. That's fine. We get money out here, man. That nigga only asked who we from Atlanta because a little girl don't call me Pleasantly Pump on this motherfucker. <laughs> <club. laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. So that nigga like, yeah, them niggas gotta be from Atlanta. No, 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 no. Oh man. I can't say that it's a term I've never heard before, and it's hilarious. <laughs> was it you did that one, Lisa. We don't know nothing about that. Well, I see, man. I may say shit about my thick terms. I'm gonna definitely use that on a bit though. Like, bring your little pleasantly, bring your little pleasantly plump ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who ain't lying me? I'm definitely a Texas nigga. I'm enjoying this. For sure, Joanna. <laughs> hey, this is what we do every Thursday, man, from 9.30, 10 o'clock, to whenever we feel, we feel like it, whenever we run this shit. You know, you ain't on no schedule. You ain't on no, you know, no prompt type shit. shit. We just go live and, and have fun, man. And we just have a conversation, man. Whatever happens, happens. You never know who you might see on this motherfucker. <laughs> that nigga you, you never know what <laughs> might happen. Real shit. Yeah, she, she, we just, yeah, she, she, just yeah, she, yeah, I don't know where she got that shit from. Mm-hmm. Uh, this nigga didn't even know we was gonna have a special guest. I didn't even know until earlier today. I know it surprised me. It was the best special She's like, I'm coming on the show. I'm on my way. I mean, she was in somewhere in Tennessee. I'm on my way. I'm about three hours away. I'm like, all right, sis, come on. Where Miss Minifield from? She got yeah. gangster last night. Shit, the minifields, man, they, they pop like that. There's a whole lot of minifields out this motherfucker. They like the shit. I know, I know a bunch of people. 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 I know a bunch of people
would go down on this show, man. We just and come fuck, come fuck with us on karaoke Friday. Karaoke oh, Friday is going down tomorrow at the I Social Vegan Gray Line Station, one on one, West East Loud, West Loud. Whatever. East West Lounge. Whatever. They said West East Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Line Station. Nigga, we on the Lions side. I love y'all. Love well, you. We got to decide to go. We going to the Patch. I meant Patch and Pub. Y'all come on. Real Talk TV. We going to the Patch Pub. Y'all make sure y'all come. Uh, 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 uh. That sounds familiar. How you do it? Right there. With the, um, Which one around? Next to the Waffle House. Yep. Which oh, yeah. Go? She married to a minute. Yeah, that's right. She married to. It's, you got big man and little man. Spicy, big man. <laughs> Shout out to the mini fingers, man. Shout out to y'all, man. They a big family in Lexington. He said he's a gentry, though. What's up? That nigga said he bought See, I just told you. Gentries are big. My, uh, they say he put a long long face. Patina. I haven't heard from Patina right either. Now. I need to find her. For sure. I'm I don't gonna, know if you can Patina to I'm Patina. I'm going to pull up on him just like, damn, long baby. You are yeah, a legend. She can't get mad by a nigga saying that. Well, I think that. that should be the new word instead of thick. That rump is pleasant. Instead of calling it thick, you think it's hell like that. Yeah, baby, I'm a pretty nah, plump, plump ass here. Nah, plump is a. Nah. That's another word for fat, dog. Yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> See, but get a that's why you you don't say bring your plump ass here. You got to put the pleasantly Pleasant. in front of it. <laughs> If you don't put pleasantly in front of me, oh, that bitch Oh, Patina's your cousin? I love her. Who? Because I was telling her, um, I know one gentry, her name is, or him, or her, yeah. Her name is Patina. We used to work together as my people's, a spoon. I had my talk to her for years, so she said that's her cousin. Shout out to the gentry, man. I love her. Her name, Patina? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something to get the actual name. They even put names together, boy, I tell you. Shout out my city, man. He's from Texas, man. We in here. Shout out to the D. Detroit, now Dallas, nigga. Where you from, CC? I'm from the country. I'm from Harlan County. Harlan what? County. Your ass is from Lexington. I'm from Harlan. Harlan County, but I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, from first grade to It was city. neighbors in Harlan? It was packed with us down there. And then we all grew up and realized we went shit down there, and then we all moved away. We all moved to Lexington and Tennessee. Mm hmm. So from sixth grade to middle school, I was in Columbus, Ohio. Then I had to go back to Harlem for a year. Then I went to Pontiac, Michigan for you like two years. sixth grade to middle school. You meant from first, first grade, grade to middle, middle school. school. Yeah. And then I went to Pontiac, Michigan for two years. And then... How did you like the yak? I loved it. Yak time. I wasn't a fan of the weather because I don't like being cold. But other than that, I freaking loved it. And then I came back here my freshman year of high school, been back here ever since. <laughs> this nigga said we're fake dick. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What the hell? Hell no. Hell no. I think she might get offended about fake dick, dog. What up, M? M who? Bye. Get your ass on. You been in here the whole time. The whole time. He just came in. That nigga been here. She came in earlier. Yeah. Okay. You came in and left and came back. Look at that. You love us. I want some light. You get your ass on. You already on punishment, nigga. You on thin ice. Cause I ain't see you Saturday. And I heard you was at home, black ass nigga. Niggas ain't shit, boy. Damn, you didn't come Saturday. You got all the OG LP merch. If you ain't pull up with it on, this is crazy. You didn't come share. So it is supposed to be my people's man. It's all good. You still my nigga. Until you fuck up again, then you ain't my nigga no more. That's real. Yeah. What's up, man? We gotta start doing some closing remarks too when we leave this. You wasn't at work, nigga. You said, huh? No. We gonna start leaving that to you. Your cousin told on you. Closing remarks. Yeah. You gotta start doing closing remarks. I did do a few minutes ago. Like, I a few minutes ago, it wasn't closed. Nah, you did that for the rest. A cup in the wood. Yeah, I fuck, fuck, yeah, yeah, fuck with us, bro. Happy year. Fuck with us, man. Go ahead and, um. Every Thursday. Go ahead and share. In. Tag a few motherfuckers. You did, um, go hit that follow button and the reminder. My, my nigga Junior just came in. He said, he come, come, said my, when, come Monday <laughs> evening. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the people that not just was watching us, but also commented, you know. Man, you know, the, the shit wouldn't be that. shit without y'all commenting, man. If y'all don't comment, then we don't have nothing to go off of. This should just be real, no talk. Yeah, we just we thought right mm -hmm. about 12, 15 from up there. She said she got off at 11.30. 
No, nah, we was nigga, we was out just I was just hitting full stride at eleven thirty. No. Nah. I might have just got done. About twelve, about twelve. Cause we left about there about twelve, 12 fifteen. So we got to the Swahili about one. One something. Yeah, a little mm-hmm. bit after one. So we left about twelve thirty. Twelve thirty, yeah, it definitely was like twelve thirty. Eleven thirty, nigga. I was just eleven o'clock. I was just getting started. The shit ran over like a motherfucker. It's all good. I nigga. said I was coming early and got there later than I normally do. <laughs> nah, we don't let the people pick the topic. We just sit here and have typical conversation, man. You can, you can throw a topic out there, though. We'll fuck with it. We're going to get on it. Yeah, so. You can put your topic on there. You can talk about what you want to talk yeah. about in the comments. Mm-hmm. We're going to acknowledge that. You can throw shit. something out there right now. Well, if you ever want to hit us up before a show, be like, y'all should talk about this. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. You can inbox a motherfucker. You can end up inbox Sierra Becker. You can inbox about this nigga name ain't Bartholomew. I hate my last name. What is like, your Facebook name, sir? No. What is it, Becker? You can inbox OG L P the Realist. Or you can inbox the Real Talk Group. Anybody got topics for next Thursday, inbox Real Talk Crew. Yes. And we'll definitely. I don't know why you ain't leave with that. He wanted me to start naming everybody personal Facebook. Because sometimes I don't be checking that shit. It be popping up on my shit. I be seeing it. I just see you be answering, so I go about my way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, y'all, the that people, we, we here for the people, man. Yeah, so we just dictate this shit, mm-hmm. man. Y'all, y'all the ones, shit. We don't, you know, if you got a topic y'all want us to discuss, man, you want to put it on the floor, put it on the floor. And it's, and it's up, and it's up. Can't nobody take it off of me. That's where it be at. Look, we got two minutes to get on the end this motherfucker. Close this open, it's going to be closed in March. Midnight. Mm-hmm. With my dudes, it's almost Friday night. <laughs> oh, it's going down. I didn't know that King George was like 10 hey. Yeah, that nigga young. We looked him up last time. We looked him up. This nigga ain't even old. I was like, what? I thought it was an OG nigga. I thought he was, too. That nigga wasn't even fucking old. Happy New Year's to everybody. Happy New Year's to everyone. Make sure y'all come through. Happy New Year. First session of the New Year next week, next Thursday. This is the last fucking podcast for... 2023. It's been a when long we year. Real. We've been on, we've been off, and we've been on again. Mm-hmm. We've been on like a motherfucker lately, though. So shout out to everybody who done tapped in. Thank you. Run them followers up to a thousand. Once we get a thousand followers, man, we got a surprise, man, for the one thousand followers. For the motherfucker who make that the one thousand followers, we got a surprise for y'all. I don't, y'all share. I don't, think, that's, I don't think that's fair. Yeah, it is fair. Whoever hit that uh, 1,000 mark what I'm was. saying is you said for the 1,000 followers, we yeah. had a surprise. Sure. But what about the, so that mean they brand brand new. What about the ones that been sticking it with us for, for, for help? Man, look here. They got a point. I'm going to let y'all battle that out. I don't, it don't matter. I'm just saying, you feel me? So what about the <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers that we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what we, I want to know what you want to do, nigga. We talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> We talk about it. We're going to have a, we have a real tall raffle, nigga. We're giving away a TV. Nah, fuck a TV. We're giving away some money. Niggas need money, man. So once we get a thousand followers, man, we're going to give away some, some we're going to give away some virtual tickets out to this bitch and have a raffle. hundred dollars, man. Once we get a thousand followers. We're going to do something. And it's going to be something sweet as hell. Did you say when we hit a thousand, we're going to give a thousand? No, fuck no. Oh. We'll give away a honey, nigga. I'm about to say, nigga, didn't you hear me say we going to talk? <laughs> no, no, no. We definitely going to talk about it. We ain't going to be no dollar, no, no shit. Say, nigga, we ain't getting paid for this shit yet. Wait, wait, now, wait, we wait. was going live on OCLP page. We might be getting paid a couple stars, but we trying to build. We build them from the ground up still, man. in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And it's only been, shit, it's barely been, it ain't even been a year yet. Thing. We been on a year yet, cuz? We ain't been on a year yet, no. Next, I can't next, believe I have been coming over here about two months. Next summertime, it'd be about a year. I went back and was looking Spring at all the videos we started, and shit. We started going at it like, like, in the, like about May or something. 2023 mm-hmm. is our start date. What up, Sherry Jackson? What it do? You late, but hey, we late too. I'm about to tap out because my phone about to tap out. Go on, share the live, man. Go tap in. in. Follow the page. Real Talk Crew. I just did. Happy New Year. Thanks for coming. No, man, the closing remark is like Like, a little small speech. You got to do like like Jerry Springer. That's the piece of Jerry. Yeah, Jerry Springer or like how... um, Steve Harvey do it, do it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the night, at the end of the day, you got to... You got a thought of the night? You got a thought of the night? Because we didn't that. Health is wealth. Don't wait till the new year to start anything new. 
Right, it starts whenever you're ready. Um, <laughs> Health is wealth. We're going to close with that. Yeah, we're going to stop. Yeah. Okay. Cleanliness well, is next to godliness per ATL. Every, shit, anything is possible. GI, whatever. There's no limits. But God, oh, hey, 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 God hey, bless bro. y'all. Keep it pussy. Get this hey, bro, real, real talk, life. nigga. Oh. Um, real, real, real life, real issues. Our vision, great job. Real, I'm going to slap yeah, my Miami up. up Miami up 20. I'm gonna slap Miami up, up, up 20 on Golden State. She's Golden State and fell off, man. What the fuck, yeah. man? Wait, they ain't lost nobody. Yeah, well, well, shit, they lost the harder team. The harder the team suspended. See, you take Draymond away, man. You taking out the you taking out half the heart. I think that game was his last game in, uh, in Golden State. Yeah, man, he done, man. Yeah, I took they took the harder team away, man. See, that nigga don't. That nigga don't. He he. He's not there in points, but defense, rebound, dirty work, and he's the heart. He come in there and get them niggas going, man. Without that nigga, they ain't gonna never be back there. Ever. You count them niggas out. They out of there. Shout out to Draymond, oh, man. Oh, game over. Shit. shit. <laughs> Seven minutes in the fourth. Get your shit together, Draymond, man. Once he there. get to come back. Shit, who yeah, knows? He might say, I don't know. He got indefinitely, so. Damn. If this bitch gets to play in the NBA, maybe this is why it wouldn't have happened. No, it's still, he does it all. Y'all wait. Yeah, it's going to happen. That's just him. Well, they're making him get. They hey, this we love y'all, man. Fuck saying. with us. We see y'all next Thursday. The Real Talk Crew. Real Talk Crew. Crew. We up and out. Now Thank y'all for coming back. Happy God bless. Good night. Yeah. Happy New Year. Hey, man, nigga. Happy New Year to you niggas. Keep it true, new. All ladies, check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> Mark Dog, you fat motherfucker. Pleasantly plump. Bartholomew, big belly's home. <laughs> and we out. Oh, Peace. Man.